the name of my store is Back Creek Books. I sell used and rare and out of print books, um, hopefully books of lasting interest in all fields. My decision to open the store was driven by the economics of selling books online has become such that it is very, very hard to sell a book online. You have a store like this, only your inventory is on display and it's there, people can touch it, they can see it, so it's just much more visible. All used bookstores are unique. Unlike a new bookstore, the inventory is hand selected by somebody, the owner usually, so it reflects that individual's personality, their interests to a large degree. One of my favorite books that I have here is an 1869 copy of the play that Lincoln was watching when he was assassinated, which is the play Our American Cousin. And as most people who are interested in history know, Lincoln was shot in 1865, and this play was, uh, was printed in 1869, and it was the first time that it was printed. The way copyright law worked back then for things that were performed in public, essentially if you performed a work before hundreds of people and then printed it, you were putting it into the public domain, essentially. So Laura Keene, who was the owner of the play and the, and the actress that was performing in it that night, she was very careful to never have the play printed because she wanted to retain the ownership of it. And the, another interesting thing about that is that she had been uh, a, sort of a victim of that kind of piracy of that very play uh, in the late 1850s when the uh, future brother-in-law actually of John Wilkes Booth, a guy named John Sleeper Clark, had sent uh, people to performances of Our American Cousin uh, Theater in New York where Laura Keene was putting it on. And they transcribed the play, went to their own theater, and were putting on the performances of, of Miss Keene's play there. So she sued John Sleeper Clark and uh, I believe she won the case, so. but that's an interesting connection to later uh, when John Wilkes Booth was the person who shot Lincoln at a performance of the same play. Another interesting volume or set of books that I have here is the Biography of Washington by John Marshall, and I'm just going to show you, this is one of the five regular text volumes. This is still probably the best biography of Washington. And so you can see the title page there. The, the previous owner, the original owner, has written his name at the top of each volume. And the Atlas volume has a list of subscribers, the people that would have put up the money to have the book published. But it has also these uh, very nice maps of Washington's campaigns. And the Atlas volume is, is quite uncommon. Another one that is uh, interesting is Edward Pollard's Observations in the North, Eight Months in Prison and on Parole. And this book was published in late March of 1865 in Richmond and is um, apparently the last book published in the Confederacy. And I just had this one uh, restored a little bit by a binder that I use. One of the most unusual books that I have, or I should say one of the oldest books that I have is Aristotle's Treatise on Politics. And it was published in Venice in 1551. So it's got this lovely title page uh, that's a woodcut the whole page, and it is in Latin. It's about 500 years old. What I hope people take away when they uh, leave my store, an impression that this is kind of a place where knowledge is collected, where almost anything that you see on the shelf is interesting in some way, um, and interesting for a long time.